Okay, we're going to look at the picture box control. I'm going to stop my program there. Um, let's go over here and we're going to add a, a picture box. So there's the control. I can drag it onto my form. I'll put it right here. I can size it to the size I want. Now, this is a picture box. We look over here. We have some properties. And some of the common properties we use here, the first one would be the image. And right now the image is set to none. We don't have an image in that picture box. Um, a couple other ones we want to look at. Uh, size mode. We can set it to stretch the image, to auto size, to center the image, and zoom. We'll look at those in a minute. And then the last one where we'll be looking at is the visible property, which basically most controls have a visible property. Um, so we can set that to true or false if we want it to be visible or invisible. So let's do this. Let's go back to our image property. Now there's an ellipsis here at the right side and I can click on that and it comes up and lets me gives me some options here we'll talk about in a second the other way I can get in here there's a little play button right there at the top of it um, I can do a choose image right there I can also change the size mode okay so if I hit choose image there it brings up the same thing um, we don't have any images in our project already so I'm going to say I'm going to import a local resource and I happen to have on my desktop um, we're going to use this little image of a computer and if you look it looks kind of big right it's not quite fitting in here I'm just going to say OK and notice what happens now if I want it to fit because it's a big image bigger than I probably want for a Windows form. And we follow the same rules here we do on web design. If you need a smaller image, you're better off to edit it and use the actual size you need. But we do have some options in here. Size mode normal, we can do size mode stretch. But look what happened there. Did you notice that? When I put stretch, it stretches the image to fit the box and we can end up with a squished image or an image that looks distorted. That'd be a good thing if I put my picture in there. I could go like that and have an instant diet. Um, so that's not necessarily, stretch image isn't necessarily what we want to do. We can do auto size, which will make it the actual size of the picture. And okay, now we don't have any handles to change it because it's going to use the actual size that the image is. Um, we can center the image, which it's a big image, so it's... A, center doesn't do anything. If I make this even bigger, you can see it centers it in the box. It keeps it in the center. And last one, I think there's one more. We can zoom. Okay, and it zooms to the size of the image. So I am just going to put um, I'm going to put keep it on zoom. And notice when I do zoom it doesn't distort it like it did with stretch. So I can make it smaller. Okay, that doesn't mean I want to do that, but I can make it smaller by using zoom. Um, be careful with zoom too. If you have a small image and you make it bigger, it will get all pixelated and it won't look good. Okay. So there's my image in my image box. So we played with the image property and we played with the size mode. Let's do the visible tag now. So if I go down here and find visible, wasn't selected on it, and I set visible to false, okay. notice I can still see it. Okay. it, it in our designer, we don't really want things to just disappear and not be seen at all. Um, but when I run my program, 
the image is not there. So I set that visible property to false and it's not there. Um, if I set it to true, we will see it. There it is. That's a visible property true. So let's do something. Let's set it to false. And then let's make a new button. And on this button, I'm going to put show pick. I'll make it the same size as my others. I can go up here. Notice it gives me that little line there and kind of shows me how to space them nice and evenly. This is kind of a random form. So it's not suit it's not a super good design. We're just using it to demonstrate some things. So let's by default I have this image set to false. So let's go into our show pick. And oh Here's the problem, button one click. I didn't want to call my button button one. I never gave it a new name. So what happens when I change this to button show pick? And I double click it. Okay. Notice that that button one click name doesn't change there even though I changed the name of the button. Now it's still associated with that object. Okay, so it will still work if I type my code in here, but it gets awful confusing if the names of your methods don't match the names of your buttons. So that's why I say when you put a control on the form, the first thing you should do is change its name and set its text property if you have one. Okay, so now I've got an issue. How can I get rid of it? We've talked about this before. I think this should work. I'll click on my show pick button and I'll go over here and I'll click my events, the little lightning bolt. I'll go in and delete that method that's associated with click event. And now if I go back to my form, you'll see it's gone. And if I double click show pick again, it will generate one with the new name. So anytime you want to get rid of a method that's misnamed, highlight the object that it's associated with, in this case the button, go find its click event and just delete the method name out of there and it will delete the code from that setting. And then I double clicked it and regenerated it. So what do I want to do? my image box. Did I name my image box? Here's my properties for my picture box. Click back on my properties. Name is called picture box one. I'm going to call it pic PC because it's a picture of a PC. So I like to use PIC for picture boxes. That's a standard three letter abbreviation. Go back to my code, and now I can pick PC dot, and I want to use code this time to change the visible property, and I'm going to set it to true, lowercase t, true. Okay. So when, when somebody clicks the button, it's going to set the PC's visible property to true. Let's run it. We don't see the PC when I click show pick. It sets the visible property to true. And I can easily create another button. Called hide pick. And I will call this button hide pick. And using names like this are nice because when I see it in my code, I, I know exactly what that button does. Okay. Pick.pc.visible equals false. 
So I'm going to set the visible property for the picture to false. Okay. Show the pick, hide the pick. Show the pick, hide the pick. If you're really interested and want a little challenge, um, you could make one button that turns the pick on and off. Might have to use some if statements in there and do some testing. That's it. Well, I mean, we'll get to a spot where you'll do that automatically, but a little challenge for you if you're interested.